The first of six official hearings on the Tsai administration's new 880 billion infrastructure development plan was a closed door affair. But that didn't stop the head of New Taipei's Economic Development Department from showing up to the meeting uninvited and gaining entry with the help of a KMT lawmaker. Others in the KMT attacked the plan for what they called a partisan preference for DPP-governed localities. The head of New Taipei's Economic Development Department, Shi Weichen, caused a stir when he showed up uninvited for the first of six hearings on the cabinet's infrastructure development plan. Shi was initially denied entry. It's a real shame. Our department's project proposal was not included in the cabinet's infrastructure development plan. Seeking to secure funding for green infrastructure projects in New Taipei, Su Weichen was eventually allowed to sit in on the hearing after a KMT lawmaker brought him into the meeting room. We've already compiled a list of government officials requesting to sit in on these six sessions, but higher-ups have repeatedly rejected our requests, saying that these are closed sessions. Some have accused the DPP administration of playing politics with this infrastructure development plan, pointing out that the plan includes few proposals from KMT-governed municipalities. Members of the KMT Legislative Caucus attempted to press the issue. As far as I know, almost all of the infrastructure proposals from Nantou, Miaoli, Hualien, and other KMT-governed municipalities have been excluded from the cabinet's infrastructure development plan. Do they mean to say that municipalities not run by the DPP have no channel of communication with the cabinet? I don't believe that at all. With a total of 880 billion NT dollars in infrastructure funding at stake, a number of county and city executives have announced they'll be attending future hearings on the government's infrastructure plan.